thank you all again for joining. We will go ahead and get started at this time. And we're very excited to have our founders, Angie Connors and Dr. Mick Connors, join to present more about our tier product offering that was launched just a week ago today, as well as our senior sales executives, Tashita Saunders. So they're going to share more about the um, data points as well that um, have come from a third party industry survey. And then we'll share a live demonstration of some of the new features at the end of the presentation, then have time for a quick Q&A. So at this time, we'll get started with one of our founders, Dr. Mick Connors. Hi, Mick. Hey, Tensel. Thanks, as always. Really appreciate everyone for taking the time. And, um, you know, as Tensel mentioned, I'm a pediatrician, um, and she's a former pediatric practice manager. And we have really developed Anytime Pediatrics around the idea of how to connect uh, uh, patients with the right care at the right time with the right provider, which, as we all know, is, is the medical home. So. Our mission is advancing innovation that strengthens relationships and elevates pediatric care. So one of the interesting things is we, we kind of focus on these three buckets. One is advancing innovation. So like you'll see today um, through our tiered offerings, we're always looking to innovate and meet the needs of pediatricians because we know that pediatric adoption is incredibly important. So the kids don't wind up in those retail clinics or CVS or Walgreens or other places. We really want them connected with their pediatrician. Strengthening relationships is at the center of everything that we do. And again, we thank you for taking the time today. We really see our customers as partners and, and not as customers. So we're really eagle, uh, eager to see that these relationships get strengthened because at the end of the day, everybody wants kids to get better care. We wanna elevate pediatric care. So what you'll see today is a focus um, more on workflows and practice needs certainly um, centered around relationships, trying to drive revenue for practices, offer efficiencies, and most of all, improve outcomes for pediatric patients. So Tensil will share with you now a, a little video that we recorded. And I think, you know, it's, a, it's three to four minutes, just give you a good high level overview of uh, what we're all about here at Anytime Pediatrics. I'm excited as a pediatrician to be an innovator and to begin to bring technology to uh, pediatricians that really uh, is focused on them. I think as a pediatrician, I certainly understand the clinical challenges, uh, the stressful moments, the, the difficulties around workflows. I started Anytime Pediatrics uh, really because it matched my passion uh, and maybe my life's work to get better care for kids. I think the, the core of what we're trying to do is strengthen relationships that already exist foster those local care networks. And ultimately, we know that relationships, uh, primary care, access to a trusted provider means that kids will get better care. The panic that arose in March and April, I mean, pediatricians were scared about being able to treat their patients. And we were able to onboard them quickly, give them the tools that they need, and then the relief that they felt in order to be able to treat their patients was amazing. With the investment that our pediatricians have made in us and, and what we're taking that investment to invest in, in our technology and continually improving and finding ways that they can better care for their patients, I think it's a really exciting ride. So today's the day we're really excited to introduce two offerings for telemedicine and virtual care. Anytime Go is really an opportunity for pediatricians who want to begin to really embrace telemedicine, begin to get started with scheduled appointments, offer virtual visits, instant invites, and some of the basics of introducing virtual care to their practice and to their patients. Anytime Premier, on the other hand, is a, is a next step where you integrate pediatric virtual care across your practice. Dual offerings really allow pediatricians to choose what type of virtual care they want to offer their patients. We want to enable you to have any type of visit you want to have, any way you want to have that visit, anywhere you want to have that visit. We have a world-class team of technologists that have been doing this for some of the largest enterprise organizations in the world. We bring a wealth of experience to how we build the technology, how we test the technology, how we secure the technology, and how we deliver that technology. Being founded by a pediatrician, a practice manager, a mom and a dad, we really think about this from every perspective. Some pediatricians, and it doesn't matter if they're big or small, want a very simple workflow. They want to be the pediatrician in control of that visit. Other practices might need something with a little more sophistication, with something that they allow their staff to help manage their visits. They might need routing. They would want additional features and functions, things like a virtual visit that'll start with a virtual check-in, virtual triage, 
a virtual visit with your pediatrician, and then a virtual checkout with the office staff. We're going to offer translation services. We're going to offer a Spanish uh, transcription of our platform so that we can meet the needs of, of not just uh, some patients, but all patients. Anytime Pediatrics has a feature called virtual walk-ins. This allows practices to be open for virtual walk-in telehealth visits. Virtual walk-ins at Anytime Pediatrics have allowed the pediatricians to have five times more visits per month. And when you think about that in a revenue, that's about $1,200 in additional revenue per month per each individual clinician. You know, I think for the pediatricians out there that are thinking that telemedicine may go away or virtual care may go away, uh, I think it's really important to identify and embrace the fact that digital innovation and digital health is not only a patient demand, but it's going to add increasing convenience and connection for your patients. Your patients are either going to connect with you or they're going to continue to connect with others. So as a pediatrician, I think we all need to work together to make sure if a child can't see their own pediatrician, they can see a pediatrician that you trust. Thanks, Tensel. Um, I'm Angie Connors, as you just saw me a few minutes ago, and um, I just wanted to take just a brief minute to really talk about what virtual care is, um, because we've really, you know, anytime, at any time pediatrics, really listened to what pediatricians are thinking about and wanting, not only in a telehealth platform, but as a virtual care partner. Um, and, and I just wanted to call out some of the things that we really see is that vision for being your virtual pediatric care partner. You know, one is those integrated technologies. I think as a pediatrician, everybody's thinking about, you know, when am I going to be able to use telehealth to potentially see in that child's ear at nine at night when that mom is worried that the child has an ear infected. So we're infection. So we're looking at different type of technologies that we can offer you as pediatricians as part of your telehealth solution. Um, also customized routing, that ability to say, gosh, you know, I, I can't take this visit right now and it needs to go to a behavioral health specialist. Could you route that to my partner who works in behavioral health? Um, the actual video visit, you know, an after visit summary that really provides pediatricians with the details they need to have accurate billing, to be able to discuss with insurance companies and payers that they have a consent to treat to be able to look at the analytics of telehealth, just like you look at your practice, you know, is this generating revenue? Is it efficient? Am I using my staff efficiently? And how do I engage my parents and patients um, in this telehealth offering and really get it as part of my practice workflow? So we really look to be more than just a video connection, but really to be that partner with practices to offer telehealth to their patients when it's needed. Great, thanks, Angie. Now that we actually understand about virtual pediatric care, let's talk about why. Guys, I'm Tashita Saunders, the sales executive with Anytime Pediatrics Telemedicine Solution. But understanding why virtual care is really for us to help expire, expire and create the best care for our kids, really giving them virtual care that can improve the overall outcome. We aspire to improve, evolve, and expand beyond the standards of telehealth. Within our pediatric practices that are struggling to generate revenue as patients seek to have that direct to consumer options, we're given that convenience there. Now let's understand why we're expanding our solution. We do have different customers with different needs and we wanna be able to meet the needs of all of those segments across the market. But we also know that our customers want and they need a HIPAA compliance solution. They have it here with Anytime Pediatrics since establishing back in 2016. We're continuing with this expansion with the increased efficiencies for the right people who are performing the right functionings. Next slide, Tinsel. Now let's talk about introducing our new solutions to you. We offer the Anytime Pediatrics telemedicine solution of the premier. Again, the premier is the more robust solution. It's for those practices that really want to maximize and integrate that virtual care with the added workflows of their administrators, as well as all of the clinicians, given that flexibility and the analytics surrounding the entire workflow of our premier solution. 
However, we also recognize with the needs of our customers that's looking for that simplified version, that self-controlled, self-guided, which will be our anytime go solution. It's that simple clinician-driven workflow that makes it so much easier and so much smarter for that clinician that wants to just move forward in their day-to-day -day telehealth visits. Next slide. So with both solutions, Anytime Go and Anytime Premier, you're getting that HIPAA compliant and secure solution. You're gonna receive that high definition video and captured images with our third party vendor Twilio. The options to obtain the payment, collect co-pays, consent, patient consent to treat forms and live translations. Also contributing with our web utilization, our mobile app for your iPhone or your Android for those patients as well as for the clinicians. Hey, let's visit time captured as well. That duration is captured within the platforms as well as a complete after visit summary. That pre-visit testing of connectivity, audio and visual is all available within both platforms of Anytime Go and the Anytime Premiere. So really, you know, part of, as, as Tashita mentioned, we really um, drove these two solutions really based on the data that we received from the practices we work with and other practices who are out there. So one of the things that we always like to talk about is some of the telehealth visit information we've collected through Anytime Pediatrics. And as no surprise to anybody on our um, webinar today, obviously last April and May, having telehealth, those visits were, you know, the primary way to see children. But you can see not only were scheduled visits completed, but also on demand, you know, the ability for practices to open up a virtual walk-in visit. And so we saw a lot of those visits in April and May. And again, we see them continuing as a trend for pediatric practices. Really, for a lot of practices, it's a great way for them to grow revenue. But, you know, everybody on the call knows that, you know, pediatrics can be a little seasonal. So you can see as we go right back into the winter months, those visits have continued to grow November and December, just to really find that way to treat patients, to see your patients in the best possible way. So we also have worked with a third party group outside to really look at some of what is the information we can learn from pediatricians about what they want for their telehealth and pediatric virtual care partner. And one of the first things we really learned was that, um, next slide, Tensel, was that patients want telehealth. So when we surveyed over 700 pediatricians, 92% said resoundingly that they believe consumers will want telehealth as part of their offering. And I think it's gonna really continue to be beyond just what we think of very easily like behavioral health visits, those ADHD follow-up visits, but they also wanna be treated for things like a rash via telehealth. But all pediatricians believe that telehealth is here to say. One of the other questions we asked in that survey um, or the third party asked in the survey is you know why would you continue or increase your utilization of telemedicine? Obviously that patient demand is the primary reason, but right behind that is the more comprehensive insurance coverage. So as we all know, a year ago, it was a little hit or miss as to whether your state was reimbursing for telehealth. What we saw is that all of that was you know really opened up for, for COVID, but what we've really seen is that it's gonna continue past COVID. That reimbursement from your Medicaid, your private payers is gonna stay through COVID and it's gonna continue. It's, it's really interesting. One of the great resources we use at Anytime Telehealth is the Center for Connected Care. They're a great option to look by your state to see what the current legislation is and what's pending. You know, telehealth is also going to be a great way to continue to grow your practice revenue. You know, as patients are going to continue to want telehealth, if it's not something you're offering your patients, you're going to find that they're going to look for an option that will. And it's also a great way to reduce that patient leakage. One of the things where we're really interested in seeing in the survey was also what, what practices we're looking for with support. So on our next slide, you can see that, you know, Anytime Pediatrics is really known for its excellent support, not only to the clinicians and the practices, but we also help support your parents. So we have a fabulous support team who has spent time with 
grandparents having a telehealth visit with their grandchild, but just there to help make sure that the practices are confident in the technology and to be there as your partner when you, things don't quite go as you hoped they would. So we're really proud of that level of support. And that's something that's ongoing, no matter whether you're in our pediatric premier or our pediatric go platform. So the level of support will continue to be there from anytime pediatrics. So now we're gonna turn over to a live demonstration. Um, and one of the features, you know, there's so much that we could show, um, but one of the things we'd really like to share with you guys is really the virtual walk-in that, or the virtual visit that is something that can be checked in by a staff member. So if you've, um, if anybody has um, experienced telehealth already in their practice, which I'm guessing all of you have, you're gonna find that, um, you know, sometimes you, you as the clinician have to troubleshoot um, that, uh, let's see, let me get to my right screen, have to troubleshoot that telehealth. And the ability to do a virtual check-in allows you to triage for your patients um, and just to do a lot of different options. So today's demonstration is gonna start with me. I'm a parent, as you've probably guessed, and I'm gonna go ahead and log in to Anytime Pediatrics. Um, so I'm gonna just sign in simply with my cell phone. I could be on my cell phone if I wanted to. I'm on the computer right now. And so I can see right here, I have an appointment today and I'm gonna go ahead and begin that visit. So when I click start visit, you can see a picture of me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my weight today. Um, I could go ahead and upload a photo. So if as part of this visit, I wanted to add a picture of my child's rash or their cut, I'm gonna go ahead and upload that into the um, Anytime system. I'm gonna to agree to the consent to treat. Very important that we have a signed written consent to treat. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm in the waiting room uh, waiting for my video visit. So I'm gonna stop share and turn it over to Eileen Foley, who is our practice admin today. Thank you, Angie. So I am Eileen Foley. I'm a customer support specialist with Anytime Pediatrics. So for this demonstration, I am gonna log in as an administrator. So I do have the option to look at the patient's information from the waiting room. I can see how long they've been waiting. So I'm gonna initiate this visit now by clicking on the patient. For step number one, I can review their chart. I can chat with the patient on the right-hand side, and I can also view any images that the patient has uploaded. So she is here for her rash. I see that she's updated an image, which is fantastic for the clinician who will be having the live telemedicine visit with this patient. But let's get into the virtual visit option for an administrator. To initiate the virtual visit, since it's already a scheduled appointment with Dr. Johnson, I just wanna route that visit to myself. So I'm gonna select myself as the practice administrator and I'm gonna click route. Once I've routed the visit to myself, I can go ahead and begin with the virtual visit. As you can see, I have several options to complete. And the first option I have is step number two, which is start chat. So as you can see, we do send an automated message letting them know the administrator is reviewing your details in preparation for the visit. So for the front desk virtual visit to begin, I'm gonna click on step number three. Once I click on step number three, I will be able to see the patient. I can gather as much information as possible. I can triage with the patient. I can also troubleshoot with the patient, which is vital for anytime pediatrics telemedicine. I can hear them, see the live virtual video, and I can know that they're ready to be transferred right over to their clinician. So I can go ahead and also look at any visit information while I'm chatting with the patient. So once I'm ready to route them to the appropriate clinician, I'll just click on route visit at the top of the screen. I can select any physician to route to. Maybe this patient needs to be routed to a specialist for nutrition or for a specialist for behavioral health. I can determine that and route to a specific clinician. I can also select the clinician for the scheduled appointment. At the bottom, I can add routing notes. For an example, I'm just gonna let the clinician know 
that their insurance information is up to date. Once I have entered the information, I'll just click Save Note, and I'm going to route this patient right to Dr. Johnson's waiting room. So now I'm going to stop sharing my screen. I'm going to hand it back over to Tashida, who will be the clinician for this demo. Awesome. Thank you, Eileen. So now I actually am going to take on the role of the clinician for us and bring in our patient. As you can see, as a clinician logging into the solution here, that virtual care for the clinician is allowed for the camera and audio to be accepted. You'll recognize here that my availability as a clinician will show and the permissions to the camera and microphone settings are all in proper place for an efficient visit. As a clinician, I can see over into the virtual waiting room. I have our patient Chloe here ready and waiting. I can quickly as the clinician review their chart information and their visit details. I also quickly wanna see any chatting communication that my administrative and my parent patient may have had. And if I need to give any additional chatting communication, I may do so. As I prepare for the visit, I may wanna go ahead and take a look in our virtual care routing notes, anything that my staff, my administrators or so may have shared with me, I can quickly review before I actually go up to step three to begin the visit. As I come on screen to begin our visit, we see our parent patient here waiting for us in the virtual room and I am now ready to begin our visit. As I prepare and begin the discussion with Chloe and mom, I can see all of their demographic information, their chief complaint in their pediatric area, but just bear with me over to the far right-hand side. I'm gonna expand the screen just a little. And as the clinician, I also have the opportunity to see one of the best video uh, or images that have been uploaded into our solution by mom and parent. I also have the opportunity to continue our clinical notes and capture anything that I may need at this time. One of the additional functionings and features that we love to bring in is the ability to be able to invite to a visit. Our third party invite will quickly allow for our parent, patient, or provider to be invited into our visit, as you would see in any of your virtual care. As we continue on with our visit with our parent and patient, you may capture any additional notes and review any other uh, details that you may need. But for the sake of demonstration, you can go up to step four and end your visit. And as you end your visit, that thank you goes over to the parent, but we're gonna go ahead and go to our final step five and complete our visit. We'll recognize our vis visit is completed successfully. And what we get now is our visit summary details. All of the virtual care for this clinician here is all identified in the summary for us. I could quickly identify our date and duration, which is very key and important now when it comes to your virtual telehealth visits. You also can see all of the details for the visits. Also importantly, our timestamp and dated consent to treat form. This is also an opportunity as well, if you need to capture any additional notes, you have that opportunity to do so for your additional note taking here and saving those details. In that summary, here's all of the review of the information that have been captured today, as well as a quick review of all of your chatting communication. Now, doctors, you can easily take all of your visit details summary with one click of a button and copy it to a clipboard and save it over as a PDF and attach it to any of your desired EHR solutions. For the sake of our review today, we'll go out and close at this time, and you will then be done with your visits for today or anyone else that may have been waiting for you in your virtual waiting room. I'll pause at this point and hand it back over to Tinsel at this time. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Angie, Tashida, and Eileen. That was a great demonstration. And at this time, we will open it up for questions. So you can use the Q&A portal or the chat to send over any questions that might bring up for you. We're also happy to meet with you one-on-one -on -one following the presentation today. Um, if you would like to have you know, a consultation with Tashida where she can really dive into your practice workflows. All right, you're building warm handoffs, such as with the mental health um, for record forwarding. Are you branching out to subspecialty pediatric care? Also, is there an option to review previous chart prior to the appointment? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we are, you know, we are building that um, I hope you, I'm making sure I was in it. Yes, we are building that ability to have that warm handoff 
Um, and we also, that warm handoff can be between multiple groups prior to going to the clinician. So we're really excited about the fact that it, it could go not only to the front desk to check in and maybe check insurance, but maybe it needs to go to a medical assistant who's gonna get vitals and things like that. Um, so we do offer for pediatric subspecialists, we are used with um, some lactation, um, allergy. So we really um, would like to be a partner for all pediatricians, regardless of what specialty they're in. Um, there is the ability to review the notes from any prior telehealth visit. So as part of that after visit summary that Tashita showed, that can be seen um, for any previous visit, not only the information that was saved by the clinician, but also those chat and the photos. So, you know, any type of telehealth visits you've had within any time can be reviewed later. Wonderful, thank you, Angie. Mm -hmm. And can you talk through a little bit about the importance of that um, time duration for each visit on that visit summary? Absolutely. I'm sure um, most people on our, on our webinar today know that one of the ways you, you're going to be coding in 2021 is can be the length of the visit. So as you look at the complexity to your billing, whether it's 99213 or 99214, that knowing that you had a 30-minute telehealth visit is part of that documentation for having a higher level of coding. So it's really crucial to be able to know how long that visit lasted, Maybe um, as the clinician, you don't document the complexity or maybe you just do certain parts and your staff needs to know how long that is. That's always part of your after visit summary. And that's really regardless of which option you choose for any time pediatrics. You know, one of the things we really wanna stress is the great feature function is available in both of our products, the Go and the Premier. And really it's just a matter of determining what is best for you. So do you need something that's really clinician driven or you do you need something that your staff can help facilitate warm handoffs and things like that? Wonderful, thank you, Angie. Another question, um, so I think Tashita did show the third party invite. So that goes to the, do you have a way to have a three-way connection bringing in another caregiver or better yet another clinician? Absolutely. So that Tashita did show that third party invite and that email invite can be whoever you need to have in that visit. So whether it's the parent who might be, you know, located, you know, moms at work and dads at home, or it is another clinician who needs to give a consult or a, um, a nutritionist. So that third party invite is really there for whoever you need to bring into the visit. And is there software that is distinct and separate from a child's EMR record, or is there a patch that uploads labs, x-rays, and previous consults? So we, we are integrated with um, some EMRs, so we're integrated with Office Practicum on the scheduling side of it. Um, but as far as getting your labs, those things are separate from the Anytime platform. So what you would find is a lot of pediatricians kind of use our platform side by side with their EMR to be able to review kind of that child's history or any labs that they've had, um, you know, drawn recently as part of that visit. Great questions. Thank you all so much for your attention and your time today. We are at the end of our 30 minute demonstration and webinar. Um, but again, we do appreciate you joining and appreciate your interest in Anytime Pediatrics. Thank you, Dr. Connors. Thank you, Angie, Tashida, and Eileen for such a wonderful presentation. Um, you will see that in the chat, we have provided the link to where you can book your one-on-one -on -one consultation um, to learn more about how Anytime Pediatrics would work best within your pediatric practice workflows. Oh, we do have one other question we'll address quickly. Um, what, is, what if the patient does not speak English? Um, Angie, would you like to quickly touch on the um, live translation and the uh, Spanish transcription of the patient app? Absolutely, um, absolutely. That is something that we've listened to our pediatricians talk about and we've really tried to address. And in March, we will have a Spanish transcription. So we'll have a Spanish app for parents. So they'll be able to use Anytime Pediatrics in Spanish. Um, but we also have the ability that will be coming in March too to invite a translator into a telehealth visit. So if it's, you know, eight o'clock at night and you happen to have a parent on a telehealth visit who needs a translation of a different language, they'll be able to invite a translator into that visit as part of the options within Anytime Pediatrics.
Wonderful. Thank you all again so much for your interest today and for joining the webinar. Again, you'll receive a follow-up communication about 24 hours from now where you will get a link so you can watch and share the recording of this presentation. We hope you have a great Tuesday and thank you again.